One to go this time by at your parade lap. Give them a wave as they make their way. Your all-star performance challenge series late models. Goki and Stemler on the point, 40 laps. Roaring thunder here at, at Merritt Speedway. As we're ready to go, Greg Goki, Travis Stemler, front row, purple tractor tire, fire out of four, green flag waves are underway. 40 laps for your All-Star Performance Challenge Series late models. Goki with the whole shot, good run, Morosky through one and two, Stemler off the high side. Look at that momentum from Travis Stemler. Out of turn four, they're three wide for the lead. Leader of lap number one was Matt Morosky. Barely. Six thousandths of a second. Through one and two on lap number two, Morosky hangs down on the bottom. He's still going to the point. Stemler working that high side. Here comes Mark Coulier back there in fourth. Then Ryan Lampier rounds out your top five. Stemler Morosky out of turn number four. New leader is the Ionian outlaw, Travis Stemler. Stemler's had a fast race car all night long. Quick time qualifier, won his heat race, started outside pole, and he jumps up to the front. Morosky sets second, Goki third, Mark Coulier fourth. Challenge for fifth is here comes Eric Spangler on the high side, outside of Ryan Lamphere. Seventh belongs to Thurlby, eighth to Bray, ninth to Stir, and Andrew Terrell rounds out your top ten. Stemler in five laps has already caught the tail of the field as he pulls up on Jerry Kent and Cowboy Newenheis. He will put Cowboy a lap down. He'll have to change his line, dive it underneath Kent, see if that gives Morosky a chance to close that gap. Stabler makes his way by Jerry Kent. Now he'll go to work on the 16 of Stazak. Thurlby trying to rip around the lip on the top side of the racetrack, close that gap. Spangler has moved himself into the top five as he made his way around Ryan Lamphere. Stemler dives it down to the bottom as he tries to put Stazak a lap down. Stazak holds his line, which is the high line around the racetrack. Morosky's closed the gap. Now Stemler puts one between them. Here comes Morosky trying to do the same. Can't get it done. Goki throws a slider on Dan Hersey. Also a lap car in third. Spangler has closed the gap. Car goes over the berm in turn number four. Caution flag will wave. I believe that was Hendershot. Zach and Neuenheis. Ready to go back to green flag racing. Travis Stemler fires out of four and we're back to green. Stay side by side behind him. Good run there by Dona Marcoulier off of turn number two. Leader of lap number 11, Travis Stemmer. Here comes Greg Goki on the high side behind Morosky. Runs out of racetrack. Stemmer breaks away just a little bit. Mark Coulier moving up to second. Out of turn number four. Dona Mark Coulier. Now your second place race car. Morosky keeps it going on the high side. Good run here for Matt Morosky. Hanging up there with the big boys. Stemler continues to lead out of four. Lamphere's moved back into the top five, shuffling Spangler out of the top five. Lamphere goes to work on Goki for that fourth spot. Lamphere continues to work on Goki as they go door to door down the back stretch. Travis Stemler remains out front. Dona Marcoulier runs second. Morosky third. He's bunched up there as Riley Knoll has trouble on the front stretch. He'll roll it off the, off the berm as the leaders roll by. And it does not look like Riley Knoll can get it off the racetrack. So the caution will have to wave for Riley. 
Stemler's led them all since about lap two or three. Out of turn four, green flag waves and we're back underway. Travis Stemler leads us to the green. Baroski, Marcoulier. Lamb, Feard, and Goki round out your top five. Does anybody have anything for Travis Stemler? 23 laps to decide it. Problems for Jacob Stir. He's off the pace in turn number two. And he will make it back to the pits. We'll stay green. Goki up on the high side. Whoa, he just about went over the berm. He saved it somehow, but he'll lose a couple spots to Brandon Thurlby and Eric Spangler. Rob Lewis, however, is pointed the wrong direction, as well as Hendershot in turn number four. back to the purple tractor tire. He will fire off of four. We're ready to go back. Green flag racing. Out of floor. Green, green, green. And we're underway. Mark Coulier and Lampfeard side by side down the back stretch. Those two had a little trouble last night as they got together at one point. Cross flags from flag man Mike. Swartz in the 28 has rejoined us out on the racetrack. Mark Coulier on the high side. Lampfeard has taken over second. Travis Stemler continues to lead. Greg Gokey has made his way by Moroski. He's back into the top five. Spangler and Moroski battle it out for sixth. Bray and Terrell battle it out for eighth. Off the track in turn number four goes Andrew Terrell. And the caution will weigh for Terrell. Restart is there wheel to wheel and door to door behind Travis Stemmler. Stemmler leads us off at turn four. Green flag waves and we're back underway. Good run there by Goki through one and two. He'll pull up right on the rear deck lid of Mark Coulier for a moment down the back stretch. Out of turn four. 17 to go, pile up in turn number four, parking lot. Whole bunch of cars together. I see Wyatt Baker, I see Cowboy Neuenheis. I believe that's Stir. Back to green flag racing, Stemler to the point. 23 in, 17 to go. Mark Coulier the high side. Good run there by Thurlby. Spangler makes it three wide down the back stretch with Goki and Thurlby. All battling inside that top five. Coulier, Lampfeard side by side off of four. Dona continues that high side run. He will remain second behind Travis Stemmler. Dona now dives it down to the bottom, changes lines, closes the door on Lampfeard. Trying to get it wound up on the top, just doesn't quite have enough to get up there next to the four of Travis Stemmler. Lampfeard runs third. Brandon Thurlby up to fourth. Eric Spangler rounds out your top five. Goki's outside looking in from top five. Then it's Bray, Moroski, Aarons, and the 20 of Miller. Two distinct lines of racing being discovered on the racetrack as your top two cars, the four of Stemmler and the six of Mark Coulier run low. Lampfeard runs high. Thurlby makes his way around Spangler on the high side. 
Eric's actually running about a half a lane higher than Stemler and Marcoulier. Ten to go, ten laps left for Travis Stemler. We're 30 complete. I believe he's led 28 of the 30. Moraski led the first two. Stemler about a lap away from catching the tail of the field. That could make things interesting as Mark Lear is right there. Dona Mark Lear is within seven tenths of a second. Stemler has tagged the tail of the field now as he finds his way around Rob Lewis. He'll go to the bottom of Lewis. He's going to have to switch up to the top side of the racetrack to get around Neuenheis. Mark Lear's right there, follows him through, threads the needle. Thurlby's closed that gap for third and in the midst of lap traffic, he's right on the rear deck lid of the 11X of Lampfeard. Bangler goes around on the front stretch. Waves back to racing, a three lap sprint to the finish. Ryan Lamphere, Dona Marcoulier trying to reel in the four of Travis Stemmler. Dona with a slider in turn number two, he'll go to the lead. White flag in hand, three cars under a blanket for the lead. Stemmler out of four, Dona over the berm. Side by side are Lamphere and Stemmler. One more time around. Here comes Ryan Lamphere into turn number three and four. Does Stemmler have anything for him? Your winner in the 11X, Ryan Lamphere. Stemmler second. Third is Thurlby. Fourth, Spangler, and rounding out your top five is Bill Bray. Fans, put your hands together for the 11X from Midland, Michigan, your winner, Ryan Lamphere. Woo, what a finish we had there. Congratulations, Ryan Lampfeard.